Uh, what's going on, guys? We are back. And holy shit, yeah, we just got on by Pittsburgh Pirates. Honestly. Second base can do it. Who built this team? Oh, right. And oops. I do like Mario Cruz. Second base boom. his debut. Fielder Wyatt Lankford. Full four, take your base. And he gets his first hit. Stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That 
misses the zone. And the count is 2-0. 2-0. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Fastball for a strike. The Mets trailing by two here in the finale of this four-game set. Fouls one off. That goes top two one. It's Curtis Bodwin. Off of first with two away. Bites that one away. Still yeah, one and two. breaks down. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Jet Williams stands in now and watches strike one. Jet Williams takes the strike. Jet Please swing. Out. Now to look down to first. And he went around. Rule the swing. The Nationals up by two. By Got him. Inning number two. Had him out front for strike three. Two left. Back here in Queen. What a play. He's Throw to first. Got him. And very nicely done for the out. Cadillac reflexes on that one. Makes the dive. Has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. March in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bounce to the right side. Ball and foul. foul ball. And ball. that one is two in the strike. dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Yeah. And now it's Juan Soto. He's over one. That's a little bit low. This hitter one loves one, attacking no the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The one one. Yeah, everything he has breaks pair here in the last half of the third. Just two. missing there. Two balls, two strikes. Three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And it back here at Gunner Henderson. And a foul ball. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced Old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it. And that ball's crushed from the gap. And that's going to get down. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took ball, the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And a pitch. That's and inside. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit. Now this ball ball's hit high and deep. This one's got a chance. Grabs it right up against the wall. Runner tags it second. Mark Vientos. 
this one chopped on the ground, but foul. One away with a runner at third. In the air, right field. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two outs. Ryan Clifford up now for the Mets. So the big red goof. In the air, Langford has this one sized up. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Mets leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. In the Mets ball, six to two. One of the toughest things is to sweep a four-game series, and I don't care if you're at home or especially on the road, even more difficult. But an amazing job today. This team came out and they wanted it. After having three, they got the fourth, demoralizing to the home team. But there's going to be some real celebration in their clubhouse after this one. And your final, six to two, and the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon. Six runs, seven hits, no errors. They left 14 runners on base. For the men, two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Thank you. This seems to be too much. for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. Francesco Gonzalez still on the mound to start this ninth inning. We'll see if he can wrap this one up and complete the shutout. Gonzalez deals. Not even close there. One and two to count. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. And downstairs. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And now the shortstop, Luis Angel Acuna. On the ground, right side. Oh, oh what a play. Throw the first guy. Nicely done for the out. Well, he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it. One knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. That one hammered center field. 
Michael Armstrong going back on this one. Makes, makes the catch. catch. Game. And the Nationals take this one in a blowout. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work so dominant, he'd have made just one better pitch. Perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. Oh, oh, <laughs> one fucking hit. Ah. Yeah, this is my last season, so yeah, I'm not really going to touch too much scouting. Perez could go down, I think. Gives us another roster spot, so. <sighs> yeah, Omar Flores is kind of existed at this point. Christian Hernandez. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one, and I'm out. Bye.